Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests and all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those who are new, book a free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir and today I'll be teaching you the new chapter area and perimeter of plane figures. So today's learning objective will be we are going to introduce to plane figures. We are going how to find the area of triangles and we are going to learn how to find the perimeters of triangles. Can you identify these figures? What are they? They are spheres and cubes. Okay, these are 3D objects. Now let's talk about plane figures. What are these plane figures? Any shape that can be drawn in a plane is called as a plane figure. Okay, the shapes are either two dimensional or flat plane geometrical shapes. Plane figures made up of lines are called polygons. So, can you tell me? Any other plane figures which are not made up of lines, those are circles and semicircles. But the plane figures made up of lines are polygons. So, what is this polygons? A closed plane figure bounded by straight sides are known as polygons. Poly means many and gons mean angles. So, it means that polygon is a closed shape with many angles. Okay, so polygons must have at least three sides and that is a triangle. As I said, circles and semicircles are not polygons because they have curved sides. Can you define a triangle? What is a triangle? Triangle is a geometrical figure or is a polygon with three sides and three angles. Yes, that's a polygon. Now, Based on type of triangles, it can be classified on two bases. The first one is classification by angles, classification by length of the sides. Based on angles, it is classified as acute angle triangle, right angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle. What is this acute angle triangle? If all the three sides of the triangle are acute, that is less than 90 degrees, then the triangle is an acute angle triangle. A triangle that has one angle measure exactly equal to 90 degrees, that is a right angled triangle. One of the angles should be exactly measured 90 degrees. And what is an obtuse angle triangle? If any one of the three angles of a triangle is obtuse, that is greater than 90 degrees, then that part, particular triangle is said to be an obtuse angle triangle, scalene triangle. What is a scalene triangle? A scalene triangle, a triangle which has no equal sides, no equal angles are scalene triangles. Isosceles triangle, triangles which has two sides and two angles equal are known as isosceles triangle. And equilateral triangles are those triangles which has all sides equal and all angles equal. This is a equilateral triangle. Perimeters of a plane figure. What is the perimeter? The length of a boundary of a closed figure is called as perimeter of the plane figure. The units of perimeter are same that as of the length, that is meter, millimeter, centimeter, etc. Perimeter of a triangle. The simple way to find the perimeter of a triangle is add up all the three sides, get the perimeter of the triangle. If A, B, C are the three sides of a triangle, then adding A plus B plus C will give you perimeter of a triangle. We can find that the length of the fencing required for a triangular path by finding its perimeter. Now, this is an example here. Triangle with three different sides. Can you tell the perimeter of this side? 
the perimeter of this side is 90 plus 40 plus 70 add them all you get 200 meters now let's come find the area of the figure so do you have any idea how to find the area of a triangle okay so before that what is the area area is a part enclosed by a closed figure yes that is an area area is measured in square units that is square centimeters square millimeters square meters etc now do you have any idea about the area of the triangle okay so area of the triangle can be found out using the formula half base times height okay now what if base and height are not given if all the three sides of the triangle are given we need to use the formula area is equal to square root of whole square root i mean to say whole square root of in bracket s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is known as semi perimeter okay adding all the three sides of a triangle dividing by two you get semi perimeter and area of a equilateral triangle is given by square root 3 by 4 a square yes now let's solve this example the perimeter of a triangle is 450 meter its sides are in the ratio of 12 is to 5 is to 13 find the area of the triangle let the since they are in the ratio 12 5 13 so let the sides of the triangle be 12x 5x and 13 x okay so given that perimeter is 450 centimeter now add them all you get 450 find x x is equal to 15 now substitute back the values you get the sides as 180 centimeter 15 is a 75 centimeter and 13 times 15 as 195 perimeter 195 centimeter now find the semi perimeter s s is equal to sum of all the sides by 2 s is equal to 225 centimeter now substitute in the formula of area of the triangle the area of the triangle is given by square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c substitute s as 225 a b c are the sides of the triangle which is 180 75 and 195 simplify this you get 225 45 150 and 30 225 can be written as 15 square how much is 15 square 15 square is 225 okay 45 can be written as 9 fiza which is 3 square into 5 150 can be written as 3 into 5 into 10 and 30 can be written as 3 into 10 so 10 10 is 10 square 3 3 is 3 square 5 5 is 3 square take the square root of we get 15 into 3 into 5 okay into 3 into 10 okay multiply all of them how much do you get you get 6750 square centimeters let's solve this abc is a triangle in which ab is equal to ac is equal to 4 centimeter angle a is equal to 90 degrees calculate the area of the triangle abc the length of the perpendicular from a to bc okay now see this abc is a triangle in which ab is equal to ac and angle a is 90 degrees angle a is 90 degrees okay this is ab this is ac ab and ac are same this is isosceles right angled triangle okay calculate the area of the triangle area of the triangle is half base into height half base length is 4 centimeter height is 4 centimeter which is 8 square centimeter 2 ones are 2 2 two's are 4 okay 8 square centimeter the length of the perpendicular from a to bc okay find the length of the perpendicular from a to bc okay since this is a equilateral isosceles triangle so the perpendicular will bisect the side into two equal halves okay so yes so let's find the length of this perpendicular the length of this perpendicular can be found out by finding this length first 
okay so how much is this length bc bc using pythagoras theorem this is 4 square plus 4 square is equal to bc 16 32 square root of 32 is mm, 4 square root 2 okay so bc is this now let the perpendicular like uh, intersect bc and d so the half length bc is 2 square root 2 okay using trigonometry you can find using again pythagoras you can find let us see by which approach they have found so the area of the triangle is half base into height okay so again that the area they have found out using half bc into h okay i get this so this is the triangle many ways are there to find the distance now area is half base into height the base length is 4 square root 2 okay so 4 square root 2 into height is 8 which we have already found h is equal to okay so 8 by 4 square root 2 simplify that you get h is equal to 2.83 centimeters got this yes the sides of a triangular field are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 4 and the perimeter is 180 meter find its area the altitude of the triangle corresponding to its largest side okay the cost of leveling the field at the rate of 10 per square meter okay given that the area the sides of the triangle are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 4 also given perimeter is 180 thus we have adding all the sides 5x plus 4x plus 3x is 180 for 4 plus 3 plus 5 is 12x 12x is 180 so solve for x 180 by 12 4 3s are 12 no 3 4s are 12 3 6s are 18 60 4 1s are 4 4 1s are 4 4 5s are 20 we get x the common ratio as 15 now substitute 15 back so we have this sign since this are in the ratio this 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 is a right angle triangle yes this is a right angle triangle this is a right angle triplet so the sides are 4 3 5 yes now what they have told the area of the triangle is half base into height okay the hypotenuse will be the largest side this is the largest side so that is 75 this is 60 this is 54 okay so 15 threes are okay 45 this is 45 guys okay so not 54 this is 40 so half 45 into 60 do this how much do you get so 45 times 30 so 4 threes are 12 5 threes are 15 add them put a 0 1 3 5 0 square meters this is the area now find the height corresponding to its larger side okay the largest side is AC which is 75 centimeter okay so find the height corresponding to it so the area of the triangle is half base length is 75 into height and how much we do we have the area we have the area as 1350 now find H so H is equal to 1350 into 2 divided by 75 solve this you get h that is the easier way to do this okay so let us see what they have done let us see what they have done okay we need to find bd right bd is equal to 36 okay just a minute guys see here The area is 1350, right? Just to confirm again, let us check back. One three five zero. So area is one three five zero. Area is equal to half base length. 
AC length is 75 into height is H. You need to find BD which is H. So H is equal to 1350 into 2 by 75. Do this guys. This is the easiest way to do this. Okay. So 25 tables. Do you know the 20 tables of 25? I don't know whether this will be divisible by 25 or not. Let's be safe. Let's divide by 5. So or let us check with 25 first. 1350. 25. 25 5s are 125. Yes, it is divisible. 25 4 is 100. So 25 54 is 25 3 is 75. 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3, 3 8s are 24. 18 2s are 36 meters is the height of the triangle. Yes? Okay. They have solved it. They have solved it in some different way. And they have got X first, then substituted, and then got 36. See, we got it such an easy way. Okay. Now, the area of the triangular field for this much, the cost of leveling is rupees 10 per meter square. Okay. So, multiply with 10, you will get the total cost for leveling, which is 13,500. Let's solve the another problem. The base of isosceles triangle is 24 centimeter. And its area is 192 square centimeter. Find the, its perimeter. Let's x be the two sides of the isosceles triangle two equal sides the base is 24 okay and its area area is 192 find its perimeter okay so see this guys so if we divide the isosceles triangle in two parts two equal parts this is the x which is not known this is 12 okay and this is h now area of the triangle a is equal to half base is okay so this area is of the whole area so half h into base is 24 solve this get the value of the height so area is 192 is equal to half base is 24 into height so height is equal to 192 into 2 by 24 okay so 2 ones are 2 2 twelves are 24 12 ones are 12 12 ones are 12 12 72 12 6 are 72 so the height h is 16 centimeter okay now see this this is 16 centimeter height if we take half of the base which is 12 centimeter can you find this other side using pythagoras theorem yes it is 16 square plus 12 square 16 square is 256 12 square is 144 add them we get 400 square root of 400 is 20 so the other sides of the equilateral triangles are 20 and the base is 24 so 20 plus 20 plus 24 add them we get 64 centimeter this is the perimeter now a man have a field in the form of an isosceles triangle he wanted to grow rice in it Achha. he went to the market to buy the seeds if the perimeter of the field is 36, so let the two equal sides be x and base side is 16. Achha. Find out how much area. For, find out how much area farmer should buy seeds for. Find out the area of this triangle. Okay, so the perimeter is 36 centimeter. Okay. So 2x, x plus x plus 16 is 36. 2x is 36 minus 16, which is 20. 2x is 20. x is equal to 10. So the sides are 10, 10, 6. 
so 36 is the perimeter now find area of this triangle we know that the altitude for the isosceles triangle okay divides the base in two equal parts or split the triangle in two equal sections okay so find the height using pythagoras theorem this is 16 so half is 8 so 10 square minus 8 square 100 minus 64 is 36 square root of 36 is 6 so area of the triangle is half base into height 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 6 fours are 20 okay so base base is 16 sorry half base is 8 total base is 16 so half 16 into 6 so 2 ones are 2 2 8 are 16 8 6 are 48 so 48 square centimeter is the answer is the area of the field okay so that's all guys what did we learn today we learned introduction to plane figures learn area of a triangle learn perimeters of the triangles that's all for today then bye bye have a nice day everyone